Cedric Bearfield went off, and Utah won its 11th straight game against Washington State, 92 to 79. Bearfield led the way. And Eldridge, that first half, though, it wasn't just him. It was Robert Franks lighting it up for the Cougs. Oh, it was a shootout at the OK Corral. The two cats was going at it. Robert Franks and Cedric Bearfield put on the show. Robert Franks with the fake behind the back pass. He had a little kiss off the glass with the left hand. He showed us everything offensively in that first half, guy, and he couldn't be stopped. He was dropping Yakums. He got it absolutely done. How far are we from Yakima? We're not that far. We're in the state of Washington. We ain't that far, baby. 22 of the first half for uh, Franks, but it was Bearfield who, as the game wore on, outshined. He had 19 of the first and finished with a season matching high of 33. He just was in the zone. He got his three ball going, was knocking him down, but he was able to get to the basket as well. And right there, Steph Curry like from almost 30 feet out. Cedric Bearfield was on fire. Uh, Washington State shot 46% from three. But in the second half, it was Donnie Tillman hitting threes and stopping threes. Well, we're showing his three-point shot here, but I tell you what, the difference in this game was Donnie Tillman's defense. You see the block shot right there, but his one-on-one -on -one defense versus Robert Franks just completely took Washington State out of it. And that's the reason, in my opinion, that they won this game here tonight. So Franks, big numbers, but just seven of those in the second half. Tillman the double-double in the start in place of Timmy Allen. They're hoping to get him back next week. Jeff Pollard did not play for Washington State, and Utah now improves to 9-6. and six. Good position in the top four in the Pac-12 standings for the moment.